Na na ste chaya sabha. Na na sattar sinskar sankar chaya na ne ra abhi nandate abhi vadadi. Hello, Shadow Society. I the Seven Flame Shadow, uh, Seven Flame Dark Flame Shadow Peacock. Hail, and bid welcome. We last left at strength. <coughs> Once you have acquired strength, it becomes necessary to be able to control it. To be able to direct it so that your strength does not become a hindrance to you. Because sometimes strength is a hindrance. Two examples. Money and memory. Money is a necessity. So is memory. They are both Zakti power that each of us have in some measure or other, that we need to live. However, people who won the lottery and came to have it ruin their lives, gained too much strength, did not gain the ability to control it in time. People who obsessively collect money and get mega yachts and just leave it, leave the rest of it in like Swiss bank accounts to sit there and do nothing. All the power, no control. Because freezing it, putting it in an account somewhere because you're afraid to use it. Because uh, you probably don't have it, let, have it honestly if you have that much money. Your strength becomes hindrance. Because you can't use it. Memory. You may not know this. But it has crossed my notice. That there are stories about people who have photographic memories. And they look at it as a straight-up curse. And I'll get I'll, to give you a good example why. No single object for that person is not able to is not carry with it a flood of memories. They look at a newspaper every morning. They remember every single newspaper that they've ever seen from their from the rest of their life beforehand, before they get to start reading the one in front of them. That is a strength that has become a burden. So, you become strong. From a place where you did not have strength before, it is more important than ever to be able to control it. To be able to direct it. Rupiati. Oh, asam garode, rupiari, dolari, dusrode. Veave karari. Ramiari. Tanto yushka, karori. Ramiari. Samsarati Parandate Assume a pose. Exhibit by gesture. Meditate. Allow yourself to serve the power that you just acquired. Practice sorcery. Circulate. Tie to end the string together to connect earth and sky inside yourself. Circulate again. 
and then control and direct the steps. And then your energy is directing you, you're directing it, and you can move on to what is next. Thank you for watching. Oh, before I go though, so the first one is tied very much to fire. Now in platonic solids, there are five shapes. There is wind, the eighth side, fire, the four side pyramid, water, the 20th side, and earth, the sixth side. It's very convenient that these are dice. It's very convenient. I'm just, I'm just saying. And then there's ether or the middle one. And that is 12. Like I said, it's very convenient that they have this, uh, that, it, that uh, platonic uh, solids work out for dice like this. However, something neat. Ooh. So, we have, with the connecting ether in the middle, one wind, two fire, surrounded by water. Or is it actually that? Pramanu on la cara. Vayu cara. Or, yeah, vayu cara. Samu karati. Atomic oxygen. Associated with this 8th sided figure 4. The platonic symbol for air or wind. Pramanu vayu maha. Pratima Akara, Agni, Samakarati, Atomic Hydrogen, Associate, with the platonic solid of a pyramid for fire. So, we have two platonic symbols for fire that are also Atomic hydrogen. We have one that's atomic oxygen. So, right there, we have Chalagananu. We have H2O molecule surrounded by more water. Isn't that neat? Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, and comment.